everyone, how you going? Karen Finnan here, physiotherapist and director of online.physio. So today is another episode of Then and Now, where we compare injury and health management from the 1950s with that of today. And we're aided in this by the Universal Home Doctor, which was published in 1950. So today we're up to the letter D and we're talking about dislocations. So let's see what we thought about dislocations in 1950. Dislocation. Dislocation usually refers to the displacement of a joint from its natural position. This may be caused by injury to the bones and ligaments which keep the joint in position, or it may be due to disease. Tuberculosis, for instance, is a disease in which the ligaments and bones may be gradually worn away, thus giving rise to dislocation. Well, thankfully, tuberculosis is a thing of the past, and I can quite honestly say in 20 years of being a physio, I have never seen a dislocation from tuberculosis. Thank God. <laughs> the parts of the body which are most liable to become dislocated are the shoulder, the hip, the jaw, the kneecap, the finger joints, and the elbow. The jaw may be dislocated as a result of a blow or may occur after a yawn. Okay, agree with kneecap, shoulder, and fingers. Disagree with elbow, what was it? Elbow, the hip, and the jaw. So the elbow, hip, and jaw are very congruent and tight joints, and they're not commonly dislocated. So there is a serious amount of trauma going on if uh, in the 1950s, um, the jaw, the elbow, and the hip were being constantly dislocated. So, mm, interesting, disagree. <laughs> Once a joint has been dislocated, it is very apt to slip out again, and it is not unusual for a person to become quite expert at readjusting his own particular dislocation. But this should not be tried on another person by any unskilled person. Okay, I'll agree with that. So once somebody has dislocated a joint once, it can be common for that joint to then dislocate again and for it to become recurrent, particularly with those most common joints that dislocate, the shoulder, the knee, perhaps fingers. So I have found that interesting. I agree with a little bit, not so much with the other stuff, but uh, anyway, let's see what we get up to next time. Thanks guys, I'll chat to you next time. Bye.